CBS News has confirmed that someone has been breaking into the computer of our investigative correspondent, Cheryl Atkinson. Security experts are still trying to identify who did that. Cheryl Atkinson is in Washington this morning and joins us now. Cheryl, what was happening with your computer that made you suspicious? Well, Gail, there were signs of unusual happenings in my home for many months, and that included odd behavior of both my work and my personal computers. One example was the computers began turning themselves on and then back off again during the night. I was able to verify and obtain some information on the suspicious activities, and I reported that to CBS News Management in January, since it included CBS equipment and systems. CBS then hired an independent cybersecurity firm, which conducted a thorough forensic analysis, and that ruled out the ordinary malware phishing programs and that sort of thing. So Cheryl, you have been reporting on Benghazi. You did some of the groundbreaking work on the Fast and Furious program. What exactly did the intruder do or what were they looking for, do we know, on your computer? Well, with the investigation continuing, we can't give all the details, but the analysis found very unusual activity buried deep in the computer. The unauthorized party accessed the CBS computer in my home on multiple occasions, and specifically in December, they used sophisticated methods to cover their tracks, meaning they tried to remove the indications of their previous unauthorized activity. And we're not prepared to talk more about the who is and who did this today, but the intruder is considered highly skilled and used very sophisticated methods. Uh, this would be a fear for all of us, but tell us your own reaction to know to knowing that this kind of invasion has taken place. Well, when any unauthorized party comes into the home of an American, whether it's a private citizen or a journalist, and searches through their computers, inserting or removing material for whatever their reason is, it's a very serious and disturbing matter. I'm outraged that anyone would do such a thing, and CBS News takes all of this very seriously.